waking up. Go, go. No, no, stop piling gifts. This is enough to start with. Go make honey or something. Go. Uh. Well, hello, my honey bear. It's nice to finally meet you. Can I give you a welcoming kiss? Kiss with tongue? Kiss with tongue and... Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This has been such an exciting day, what with the meteor sighting and the expedition to find it and discovering your body in the wreckage and planning our wedding. Such a big day. Huh? Our wedding, honey bear. I belong entirely to you, and now you, you have to belong to me. I've been waiting so long for you, don't you understand? I'm Queen Bee around here. Oh, no. Not Her Majesty. That's so distant and formal. Just call me Queenie. This entire planet is my hive. Population? My worker bees. My sisters, you see. Their larvae came with me from our mother planet. I can't have any workers of my own until I find my drone, my consort. My lovely snuggle-wuggle honey bun. You! Of course it's you. There's nobody else on the planet, and not likely to be anybody else on the planet within my lifetime. We're just meant to be. Or, meant to be. <laughs> Don't worry. You're extremely attractive. I'm so excited to consort with you. Even just conversing with you is a treat. Do you have any idea how hard it is to carry on a conversation with a worker? It's always, yes, my lady, and you're correct, my lady, and that dress is equally wonderful on you. Whatever my lady picks to wear today is certainly correct. Ah, <sighs> yawn. Mm. But look how much you and I are already talking. And that's before we discover all the neat things we have in common. We'll go on dates, have sleepovers, talk for hours and hours. You can tell me all about your home planet. Besides, didn't you ever want to rule the world just a little bit? I can give you everything. All the foods, the palaces, the honors. Do you want statues of yourself in every city? We can build them taller than skyscrapers. We have plenty of wax lying around anyway. It wouldn't be any trouble. Do you want luxury? Workers will cool you down with palm fronds as you recline by the pool, being hand-fed the most exotic honeys. And there's also what I personally can give you. All throughout the galaxy, it's known how potent queen bee pheromones can be. You might find them intoxicating. It's okay to lose your head a little bit and let loose primal desires. I could use a lesson in what kind of alien you are deep down inside. I only ask one thing. Just a little thing. Tiny, really. Love me. Just love me. Adore me. Need me. Look at me and be happy that I'm with you. Not such a difficult thing. I mean, look at me, right? I did win a planet-wide beauty contest, and I'm sort of the reigning champion by unanimous vote. I... I'm sorry, I don't think I understand. I am gorgeous, right? Then what's the problem, exactly? It's a fair trade. <sighs> That's quaint. That's rich, really. Ha <laughs> ha. What do you mean I can't buy love? It's yours to give. Give it to me. I want it, so it's mine. That's how this works. Look at all these wedding presents. Do you think they're for me? No. All yours. Diamonds. Oil paintings. Look, don't we look happy together? Do you have any 
idea how hard it is to get a life-size double portrait oil painting made of us before you even woke up? Six artists had a nervous breakdown. Six. One of them might never paint again. She wants to be a farmer now. Now I want you to think about that, and think about how selfish you're being right now. Look at all this stuff. This... I think that's a toaster. Do you like honey on toast? Never mind. Maybe this is too many wedding gifts to start with. It's almost blocking the door. We'll barely be able to... to get out of here. I just had the most marvelous idea. Your ship was really banged up, honey bear. It might take a long time to fix. A long, long time. You could send up a distress signal, but... For the life of me, I can't think of a single reason why I'd let you do that. Does your native language have the expression, chains of love? You know, sometimes, when you really, really care about someone, you're bound to them. Not to stray, for your own good, of course. Your place is right by my side. And I said I'm all yours, didn't I? From the tips of my toes to the top of my wings. Even if I can't buy your love, I also can't very well let you wander the planet by yourself. If you aren't my consort, then the workers might very well mistake you for an intruder. You'll need to stay in this room, and only this room, just to be safe. That would make you a prisoner, wouldn't it? My very special prisoner. I'd hate for you to feel mistreated, so I'll be seeing to all your needs. And I do mean all of them. You'll be gentle with me, right? I've never taken a captive before. You might just find captivity can taste... Sweet. Can I fluff your pillow for you? I hope your bed is at least to your liking. This one is identical to my own. It might seem silly to have a mattress this big, but I think it's rather nice to snuggle up every night with seven or eight workers. It can get so cold at night without them. But now I'll have you to keep me warm, my little spoon. You'll get used to it, you'll see. Like this. Mm-hmm. You're comfy. I like that you keep your bones on the inside. Very considerate of you. You're going to be an excellent cuddle buddy. Mm -hmm. And I love how my head rests on your shoulder. Go on. I don't bite. Much. It must feel so unnatural to have your arm out like that. Put your hand on my thorax. Do you like a big thorax? You could stack up worker bees three high and they wouldn't be wider than my hips. Skinny little things, the pollinators. Polite. Submissive, even. Their fuzz is especially soft. If you don't like your pillow, I could order one of them to curl up for you. You know what? I'll even get a dozen of them for our first night together and they'll make for us a nice, soft blanket. But of course we'll need guards, too. You saw them, right? The bigger, stronger workers. I don't need many soldiers, but the ones at the palace are especially large. They're the ones that would be hunting you down if you tried to leave. Any one of them could drag you back by one ankle. Let's add four of them to the bed as well, so they can watch you in your sleep. You know in case you need an escort to get a drink of water or any other excuses. Not that you'd be able to get very far at the bottom of a cuddle pile. With all those workers sharing a bed with you, touching you. How quickly do humans fall in love? You can't catch it just from seeing someone touching them, can you? There's no chance you'd fall for someone else before... You know what? This is our wedding bed. Let's keep it special, just between us. I think you'll be able to keep me warm all by yourself. Especially if we can think of something better to do tonight than sleep. Are you shy? 
<laughs> oh, sweetie, I'd never force you. I want you to choose to love me obsessively as much as I already love you. <sighs> of course I love you, silly. It's meant to be. It's like there was a little secret part of me that was sleeping, and it's begun to awaken. I thought I knew it when I saw your limp body being dragged from the wreckage. There was a beautiful glimmer of it as I picked out my wedding dress, arranged the flowers and the music, the oil paintings. But laying here, feeling what it's like with you as a person, a person to own, my heart sings for you. Every breathless moment, even now you deny me, only to tease me. I was confused at first, but I see through it now. This is a game, and I'm winning. Every time you deny me is an opportunity to show you how much farther I'm willing to go. Thank you, sweetie. I didn't realize how much I'd like this game, this chase. It's fun, and it makes your inevitable embrace all the sweeter. You cannot fathom what it is like for a true queen to desire something out of reach. For a queen, to desire is to have. That is the truth of my being, and yet I desire you so, so much. You will be mine. Now, honey bear, choose carefully. Shall I court you the easy way? Or the hard way? <laughs> hey guys, Nightmare here. So, fun script, fun script. Definitely the type of yandere that I really like. Got to get a, a little bit unhinged in some places. Not too extreme though. Um, so, I would like to thank... Uh, name looks like logo somancer i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but the um script writer's name will be in the description so go check them out because the script was amazing <laughs> and um just share some love and some love uh with likes comments and subscribes would be super appreciated but of course not necessary um also i made a little community tab uh, post about this, but I might as well say it in a video. I actually made a throne wish list. Um, you can see that on the community tab, or I'm going to be posting it in my about section. Um, obviously, no pressure to give me anything. Like, I'm not doing this to be given anything. And the people who have bought stuff already, like, I, I cried. Like, <laughs> I'm just, like, so, like, overwhelmed that anyone would choose to do that. So, I, like, I don't expect it. I don't need it. But if you do uh, want to get me anything then you can follow that link and I will be so eternally grateful. I will love you forever <laughs> and cry probably. Um, okay, so uh, wordy outro. Sorry, uh, I'm going to let you go now. Uh, leave, leave me a like if you liked it so I know that you liked it. <laughs> Signing off, guys. Bye.